गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द लेसन दैट इज एनिमल फाइबर एंड सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एज यू नो दैट फाइबर्स आर यूज टू मेक यान विच इन टर्न यूज टू मेक फैब्रिक फाइबर्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम प्लांट्स आर कॉल्ड प्लांट फाइबर्स वाइल दोज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम एनिमल्स आर कॉल्ड एनिमल फाइबर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वुल एंड सिल्क In this video, first we will talk about wool. Some animals, such as sheep, have thick coat of hairy fibers on their body, and this thick coat is called fleece. So, why do they have such a thick coat of hair? Now, the reason is simple: fleece traps air, since air is the bad conductor of heat. Therefore. heat does not pass from animal body into the surrounding environment and this help to keep their body warm we obtain wool from fleece of sheep the clothes made of wool keep us warm wool is also obtained from other hairy animals such as yak camel kashmiri goat and angora rabbit next one is the sharing of uh, sheep for the wool the sheep is shared to obtain fleece now what do you mean by the sharing sharing is the process of removing hair from sheep it is done with a special instrument called clippers after sharing bales of wool are packed these bales are then sent to mills where they are clean and combed by a machine this clean wool is then spun to form fibers the fibers are woven or knitted to make a clothes next one is the properties of wool wool is flexible it absorb moisture and dirt it is flame resistant next one is the silk Silk is produced from the cocoon of the silkworm. A silkworm feeds on mulberry leaves and secrete an unbroken unbroken fiber cocoon around itself. As the silkworm enters the pupa stage of its life cycle, it completely encloses itself in a cocoon made of silk. You can see in this picture these this cocoon is boiled and unwound to form the fiber the fiber is then spun to form silk yarn the rearing of silkworm for the production of silk is called sericulture the silk fiber is made into fabrics such as satin velvet chiffon crepe and brocades the first silk was developed around 5000 to 8000 years ago in china from china it came to india europe africa and middle east the trade route between these countries was known as the silk route next one is the properties of silk silk is the strongest natural fiber it dries quickly it does not shrink it is cool in summer and warm in winters silk threads are very fine soft and light in weight it retains its shape drapes well has a natural shine and can be easily dyed that means it can easily colored okay so these are the properties of silk next one is the synthetic fiber uh, we will already seen the definition of synthetic fiber now fibers which made by human being using chemical substances are called synthetic fiber or the man made fiber and the examples are polyester nylon and acrylic so what happen in synthetic fiber the chemical substances are first heated so they that they melt then they are forced through sprinkle it uh, spinnerets which is the instrument that have a fine pores the long threads that come out from these pores are allowed to cool and solidify these threads are twisted together to form yarn which is then used to make fabric the synthetic clothes are form is very strong does not wrinkle and dries easily these fabrics are have lesser air spaces within them 
so they do not absorb sweat and are unsuitable for use in hot and humid climate that is why synthetic fiber are usually mixed with the other natural fiber such as cotton or wool and that is called the blended fabrics or the mixed fabric for example polycot and polywool are the blended fabrics okay next the next one is the properties of fiber water absorption property and the fire resistance property of fiber now first one is the water absorption properties of fiber different fibers have different water absorption capacities the absorption of water by fabric is an important factor that determines how comfortable a fabric is to wear fabrics that absorb very small amount of water are very uncomfortable to wear in hot and humid environment and that of the fabric that absorb a large amount of water are quite comfortable to wear in uh, hot and humid environment the natural fibers have higher water absorbing capacity than the synthetic fiber so we are using the natural fiber in hot and humid environment okay now let's uh, see the fire resistant property of fiber now fire resistant pro in fire resistance uh, there are some fibers uh, when we uh, when we heat that fiber they form one kind of smell and the ash now you can see here in the picture Uh, this chart is also given in your textbook uh, of page number forty two. Okay, now first one is the cotton and rayon. When we heat the cotton and rayon, ah, uh, they continue continue burn with a bright yellow flame, and it form a smell like a burning of paper, and it also form light and the feathery ash ash. okay second one is the silk and the wool they do not catch fire easily burn with a yellow flame but do not continue to burn and it form a smell of burning hair uh and it form ash black, which is black in color and crushable bits it uh, there is a formation of bits okay next one is the nylon polyester and the acrylic all are the synthetic fiber they do not catch fire easily shrink away from the flame and melt do not produce any kind of smell okay or they do not have a definite smell uh it form a hard and uncrushable bed okay so natural fibers burn with yellow flame and synthetic fiber melt on burning so these are the properties of the fire fiber okay so student you have one homework you have to solve the objectives which is given on textbook page number 39 and 44 and you have to solve the question a question b and question number c from page number 45 so here we have completed our third lesson in the next period i will give you the question answer of this lesson okay thank you